in Sedona. Super excited uh, to be home. Um, usually when I, when I get back from a mission, I can maintain my residence uh, for between three, three days to a week, let's just say. So it's really important for me to get this, um, share this information with you now uh, and share some of the experiences I made uh, in France, through Northern France. Um, it makes it a lot easier for me to also remember. Remember a lot of these videos I make, I also make for myself and my own self-reflection so that I can also remember. <laughs> Um, when you're going through timelines, past timelines, future timelines, present timelines, at a very rapid speed, which some of us are uh, on planet Earth, some of my fellow brothers and sisters, to understand that your power is in the present. All of your manifestation abilities happen in the present moment. Thinking about the past no longer serves you. Rather, that is simply a reflection of the experience in which you are utilizing to make your decision to make your manifestation in the present. All right. And not to, and to also not to look too far forward in this new day and age, in this new golden age, to understand that setting goals and accomplishing those goals are paramount. But to do those goals a day at a time, I find, um, is the most sustainable and productive. Many of you uh, new family members who are just finding my channel now, greetings and welcome. My name is Ryan, nice to meet you. Um, many funny questions. Uh, I was just reading comments, uh, got in last night. It's funny, people were leaving comments from videos three years ago and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't even remember two weeks ago. Three years ago, goodness. Uh, the level of consciousness has uh, greatly accelerated since then, but to share uh, some of the new things that have been attained, some of the new knowledge and experience. I like to share my experiences with you and because together we grow that much faster. Okay, so let's go through France and I'll insert some photos here for you guys. This is not going to be the uh, official France activation video, but I wanted to just, I missed you guys and I wanted to make a video for you. Okay. Now, um, to answer some questions really briefly uh, for the people who are new. Okay. Hi. Again, my name is Ryan. I woke up four years ago, four and a half years ago, March, 29, uh, March 16th, 2009 at 2.38 p.m. My third eye came on and is not shut off since. What else? Um, <clears throat> through my journey and experiences, I realized that every single person and character that I've come in contact with is simply another reflection in this game known as our existence here on planet Earth in the third dimension. I began to understand that each person plays a very specific role. I began to learn that every single person has a very specific gift that they share with one another, uh, consciously or unconsciously. Uh, I also uh, began to remember that in maintaining your own field, your own positivity, your own creation, your own manifestation ability as a true creator being, to understand that what you, you think about is also very important. What type of thoughts you have about others are also very important. To stay positive, right? And uh, always try to see the best in people. Very important, okay? Um, if you want the uh, higher self version of that, I can do that for you very easily. Uh, in my videos, uh, you might see me with my eyes closed looking up, looking left, or looking right, or uh, looking for confirmation. That is because I can see my higher selves. I do not just see color or auras. I actually see the being standing behind me, in front of me, to the left of me, in front of me. Um, with their funny facial expressions and outfits. It's quite entertaining. Astral projection is simply a doorway into your third eye being activated. Um, astral projection is the beginning. Eventually, when you guys get good at astral projection, you can do it as I do and close your eyes, or every time you blink or have your eyes closed, you're actually staring through the veil. Why the astral seems a little spooky? 
Well, because, ladies and gentlemen, on planet Earth, there is duality on this planet, in this game, light and dark. It does not mean it's spooky, it just means you're seeing both sides. I get many questions on people's eyes and sight. What I can say from one light warrior to another, one light worker to another, is that when your eyes turn on, it does not discern between if I'm seeing light or dark, it just sees. You don't really get to control what aspects through that veil you're staring at. Okay. I've also had some very funny experiences where I thought some dudes were trying to scare me. There's a little some tips for you guys. Hey, bro. Take the mask off. Some uh, beings on the night side. Okay. Remember, in these energetic fields, they can also shift form as well, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, hey, take the mask off. Take the mask off. You actually see this big, scary, boogie-woogie face. And then all of a sudden the guy just pops his mask off and he goes, yo, dude, I didn't, sorry I didn't tell you it was a masquerade ball, uh, yeah, I can take, I can take the mask off for you, okay? Now in duality, check this out, you have your light and your night aspects, right? So to understand and appreciate them for what they are, and, uh, I came to a new realization last night. It's pretty awesome, I'm gonna share it with you right now! Um... The deal with this incarnation and what you're being asked with and what free will in my new interpretation of it is as I see it right now. Okay. Your higher selves are all aspects of your oversoul. Okay. Your higher selves are aspects of you, also existing simultaneously on multiple bandwidths as you do here in 3D. Okay. Your choice comes from which of your higher selves you feel you wish to reflect. Okay. Whether it be your night, eighth dimensional self, let's just say, or your sixth dimensional self, let's just say, your seventh dimensional self, which version of you, which version of your oversoul do you feel in here? Okay, it's very important. This is just new for me too. It's harmonizing all of your higher selves into one new special package with a nice little ribbon on it that says, hi, this is me. Hi, this is you. Okay. That choice is what of which frequencies, which of those reflections, which of those personality traits that you feel inherently inside of you. Okay. Especially in the beginning, you might not know why you feel a certain way. Why am I in this really negative mood for no reason? I woke up in a great mood. Okay. Or why am I reacting in this manner when this really doesn't have anything to do with me? I don't feel like I even have this sort of connection towards an individual, a person, a situation. Why am I reacting so negatively? To understand that up the, up the bandwidths, one of your aspects, higher aspects, might be clashing with another higher aspect. Okay. That's, and you're getting the feedback down here. You are the walking hardware, the walking CPU, chemical computer, running multiple bandwidths simultaneously. You are now becoming conscious of the other bandwidths which exist around you 24-7-365. All right. So go ahead and get away from that fear game. Okay, that's, you guys are all growing up very, very fast. And I want you to understand that it's a level in the game. It's a level in the experience. And it does pass. But... And the manner it passes is when you get your juice back, when you get your power back, something very important to understand. Don't make the same mistakes some of your higher selves might have made in the past. And do not carry those mistakes into this present, into your existence. Promote balance, harmony, bliss, awesomeness. <laughs> it's my new one, awesomeness. Okay, and uh, restoration, um, having more insights on some of the, the history on this planet after um, being with the crystal skulls and actually seeing the golden ships and the black ships clashing over the horizon line, seeing where those skulls were created, uh, reminiscing with some of my uh, elder selves to understand that this planet 
is a very diverse mix of different timelines, different parallel realities running simultaneously side by side. So truly when you're choosing another timeline or jumping onto a new timeline, say an accelerated timeline, okay, what you're actually doing is making a choice in the present moment to accelerate into a higher frequency. And to do that, what needs to take place? Well, uh, holding on to old attachments, okay. removing negative programming from this incarnation, your memories here, all the way forward. Okay. As you go through those levels, then interacting with your higher selves, turning on your throat chakra. Hi, can I hear my fifth dimensional energy body? Can I hear, feel my 5D self talking to me? Can I hear myself? Or in the beginning, listen to my intuition. Do I, what should I feel I should do? And then feeling everything with your heart. Is this what I would want done to me? Is this how I would like myself to be treated in the same situation? How do you get that when you first wake up? You have to remember your pauses. Say you're getting an argument with a friend or there's some past steps coming up. Taking a breath. And pausing. Remember that you're sitting in a sphere of light. Okay? Remember that you're interacting in a game. And remember to look into your friend's eyes, or person's eyes, their soul. Okay? And see them for what they're trying to teach you. Aha! Whoa! That's a much different reaction. Okay? What are you learning right now from that reflection? When you're playing back an old memory, what am I trying to remember when I keep watching this memory on a loop? What is it about this that I keep bringing up and why? Because there might be something you need to adjust, okay? Or clear, okay? As you go through the different levels in this game, there are different uh, aspects in your oversoul which are responsible for making sure that you understand what you're doing through your initiations and your trials. Say you go up through the eighth dimension, let's just say. Okay. It's a level of control. Tenth dimension, level of control. Okay. But what if I told you that each of your aspects is a dimensional lock? If your DNA had a, a key code, boop, 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 how do I go and access my ultra terrestrial glorious self? In 3D, well, you have to work your way up the chain of command. Your higher selves, each of your higher selves, hold a piece of that password that you need to adjust, harmonize, and balance as one, okay, to be able to access those frequencies and bandwidths at will. Okay, so each of your higher selves have something to teach you. Each of your higher selves wish to share certain experiences with you. Don't get caught up in this though. Hi, I'm Ryan. How are you? I'm playing Xbox or PlayStation. Check this out. I've got the controller in my hands. What happens is to some of us, we wake up to a certain level and all of a sudden one of our higher selves, either night or light, or that was two lights, either light or night, will actually take the Xbox controller and be like, I'm playing. And all of a sudden you kind of go into dormant stasis mode until you actually take back your controller. And go, you know what? That's your reflection. That's your past, homie. Yeah, it's our past, our collective past. But I like to think about scuba diving, skydiving, surfing. Uh, I wanna go diving in some underwater caves in Mexico. I wanna ride an elephant. I wanna go pet, pet tigers in Thailand. I want to go snowboarding. I wanna go snowboarding in the Himalayan mountains. Things like this. What would you rather be thinking about or doing? Those are just actions, mind you. What I'm trying to get to is, what would you rather be thinking about? What would you rather, when you ask yourself, what would I rather be experiencing right now? This is my experience. I'm the one in the suit. I'm the one in the 3D game. I'm in the physical. Okay. Understand the difference between your physical reality and the gift of free will Mind you, some uh, Bashar even said, it's pretty funny, 
Free will? Oh, 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 you guys don't have free will, right? You do, but in this manner. Free will, here we go. Free will is simply a word, okay? But what it means to me is a choice. You do have choices. When you're driving on the freeway, you have that choice to keep going straight or exit, right? Or exit and get off the freeway, that's a choice. Okay. Should I eat this or should I eat that? That is a choice. Should I do this or do that? That is a choice. What I'm getting to is energetically, spiritually, when you make a choice to pack your bags, book your flight, and travel to an ancient sacred location on earth to remember you, who you truly are in your oversoul, that is a choice, ladies and gentlemen. That is a choice to snap out of this reality. That is a choice to remember how old we truly are. That is a choice to assist others on the same path. That is a choice, and that is free will. You can choose to bypass these levels of control. However, it takes effort, action, and a little bit of awesomeness to do that. Okay. What's that? Okay, what else? Um, you have the free will to be in a blissful, harmonious mode all day long. Yes, you do. Don't you let anyone ever tell you that. You can be in love all day long. It's my favorite thing to be. I wake up in the morning. Got my Pandora set on um, Buddha Attitude. It's my favorite to all you guys in the States. Boot, wake up to Buddha Attitude. We can wake up together. And then I go sit outside my pyramid. And I like to keep in that wake up sleeping mode. And I like to charge in the sun because that's the only true place I feel at home is in that amount of light and energy. Um, when operating, to understand your field is very very important in the beginning when I would my field grew and I could I was very sensitive to things around me I was very sensitive to other beings emotions thoughts to understand that you are that filter for them as well I've also seen that when I'm interacting with other beings they might come in negative you know here's my sphere Here's the osmosis of everyone else coming to clash you with my sphere. Boom, they hit the walls. Now what I try to do is as they hit those walls, I transmute them. Transmute, transmute. So for example, what that means, I'm gonna come get you buddy. Ah, you know, if I'm, I'm down in the tombs, clearing out, you know, adjusting some things uh, down and we always just got back from the catacombs. Okay, I was underneath Paris, awesome. Uh, I was working very hard down there and to understand when I felt that clash hit my wall to understand that my job is to resist that and transmute that into for example this is a visual for you guys what it might look like I'm gonna run up and hit this dude with a whatever some sort of blunt object probably but as I get three four steps away from his field my arm drops and as I get even closer what am I doing and as I get even closer Whoa, what's that? You totally reprogram what their thought constitution of what they thought they were doing was. Because when you guys, as many of you guys know, you've had experience with angels or souls or God or Yahweh, whatever vernacular you want. When you start to see just a little taste of that, you're like, oh, I remember something. What's going on? It kind of resets the entire situation. And that's what light does. Light resets. Light adjusts. Light also resists. It's his job. Darkness. It says darkness holds the light. The light resists darkness. Okay. Light, night. Day, night. Duality, welcome to earth. Okay, here we go. Now, 19 minutes. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm going to share a little quick tips with you guys on uh, just what I experienced. I was all over in northern uh, France and I went to all of the cathedrals. Eyes on. Oh goodness what I saw. I saw all kinds of things in there. Oh, so that's how the church pulls the energy up through the architecture. Interesting. Oh, that is how the archways are built to points underneath the tops of the caps of the... Uh, tips of those churches that actually maintain a resonant field oh it creates a resonant field in the roof as it projects energy through the spires interesting 
Um, the gargoyles. Check out what gargoyles are. Crowd control. Gargoyles equal lower dimensional crowd control. I was like, get out of here. They're like, I'm like, that's kind of like crowd control at like a concert. You're like, yeah, check this out. Here's the church. Here's the okay. church. Here is the level of the gargoyles right here, looking down on 3D, 4D. But on the church, the next level, boom, and then the next level, boom, and then the top, it's kind of like where the higher frequencies, the angels would then sit above, obviously, the gargoyles, the higher frequency above the gargoyles. So the gargoyles, that's about 3D, 4D, because remember, church is all high, you know, all built up, looking up at them. But I thought that was very interesting. God girls of crowd control. Fantastic. All right. Uh, what else? I also went into the Louvre and I stared at the original Sumerian tablets. Oh my goodness gracious. I was sitting there reading. They're like, it's like chicken scratch. I'm like, no, it's not. It's binary code. Sumerians. I'm going to show you some pictures. It's amazing. I'm sitting there just going like downloading. I'm trying to read it. Basically on the Sumerian tablets, it's like all these little lines. Boom, boom, boom. All different length lines. But what it is to me is I'm like, holy moly, the Sumerians could actually manifest in 3D and actually write into the matrix through binary code through their language. They could actually hack this dimensional plane of ether in their reality. That's what they can do. And that's what that language is. If you can understand ancient Sumerian, which not many people here can because it's not written in a 3D understanding. It's a frequency understanding. Downloaded that. Watch out now. Start hacking the matrix. What else? Oh, the big, uh, there's a picture I'm going to show you guys. Guy's holding a big uh, corn right here by his third eye. Remember the corn in the Sumerian text. You guys ever go down to Machu Picchu in Peru? The guy's got the staff and he's got the corn on it. It's not corn. It represents your third eye. In the Vatican, in the square, the 30-foot pine cone, what does it represent? Your pineal gland, your third eye, your god's eye, that's what it represents. So there's this big Sumerian dude going like, hey, can you see me now? Here's my pine cone. Can, can you guys see what, can you see what the rook is cooking? There's a pineal gland. Okay. That was a reference to Dwayne Johnson. Rock. Can't wait to see the new Hercules movie. All right. See, I make it, bring it all back. All right, what else? Okay. It's 2014, March 27th. Um, it's been a pleasure to make this little video for you guys, but um, I just want you guys to know to feel um, balanced. I saw many things shift very, very quickly. And as far as what we did in Northern France, we were 100% uh, successful. And oh my goodness, if you guys could hear other people's higher selves over there. I was in Mont Saint Michel having like these conversations with like France's MIB in their little black suits. Like, Let me explain some things to you. I'm like, Yumshi fiasketo son for you. You don't even remember who you are. It's pretty interesting. What else? I was just busting some star language. They're like, oh shit. What else? Um, remember your angelic awesome selves. Remember your night selves. Remember your light soaps key what do i wish to feel like in the present with all of this awesomeness swirling around my dna what do i wish to feel like and to have love for all of your aspects to not negate them or turn away from them rather process 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 but why is he or she like that show me the instant replay of what happened to them once you see where your higher selves are coming from once you see the planet they're coming from, once you see the system they're coming from, you might have a little more compassion here for why they might be holding that specific personality trait codex level frequency of experience and to go, yo, I still love you. Even though you put me through some shit down here in 3D. All right. Now with that, ladies and gentlemen, a little self-reflection for myself and love to you. I just want you guys to know, uh, every day we get stronger. Cannot wait to show you some of the awesome places we went. And um, Northern France is coming up online very, very quickly. Very excited. All right. 
So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I missed you guys, so I wanted to make you a little bit. So uh, if you like the vids, go ahead and like them. If you're new, you're watching, go ahead and subscribe. No, I never say that, huh? And uh, to all the new energy tools and stuff, I got some new things. Collected some new things for our family out there. Any of you guys who have that Cathars blood, any of you guys from the France, I mean, you guys were the Templars, knows. Uh, also, some very amazing stuff uh, for my fellow druids out there. Amazing stuff. Got some amazing history, you guys, of what was going on. So it's very, very cool. And to understand those connections are still alive today. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I love you very much. And I'll see you next time. Peace.